This is a project on the development of a severity index. This is the data that was provided for us. As you can see in this table, 10 cases or patients were analyzed and their diagnosis and length of stay were recorded. For case number one, for example, the patient came in with the diagnosis of MI and CHF and had a length of stay of five days. Here, I took the data and indicated whether or not each patient had a certain disease. As mentioned on the last slide, case number one presented with MI and CHF. Therefore, I entered a one in the MI and CHF columns in the case number one row. I entered zeros under diabetes, alcohol use, and hypertension for case one to indicate that that patient did not present with those diseases or conditions. On the right, you will see the length of stay for each patient. Using the indicators per disease, I ran a regression using the Excel analysis tool pack. The input Y range was the length of stay. The input X range were the indicators by disease. This is the input I received from the analysis. The coefficients per disease, also known as the severity, are shown here. The coefficients, however, required standardization. To do this, I entered a 1 for the highest coefficient, a 0 for the lowest, and calculated the remaining by using the formula x minus min divided by max minus min. As you can see, the standard severity at the bottom of the table is shown here. This is from the previous slide when we standardized the coefficients. Overall severity was then calculated. Remember that the patient in case number one presented with MI and CHF. This is indicated by the ones above. To calculate the overall severity for case number one, I took one minus one minus the MI standardized severity times one minus the CHF standardized severity. The overall severity for patient number one calculated to be 1.0. I calculated the overall severity for each case, which is presented in the rightmost column. Here, I plotted overall severity versus, versus length of stay, data that can be found on the previous slide. As you can see, there is a positive relationship between the two variables. This indicates that there is an association or relationship between the overall severity of the patient's health and their length of stay. Thank you.